on in jubilance, as will the home nation of Japan, as Juju Noda escapes the final corner, the opening race here at the Paul Ricard weekend, it's Juju Noda! of the Noda Racing Team, of course, the family affair, as we said. Oh, can you imagine a clap from the garages as well for Juju Noda, race winner here at the Euro Formula Open. And if Juju Noda wasn't already on the map, then she will be now. This is going to be... I think this is going to snowball now because Wait, suddenly no sunlight, so cold, sleep is there's nice, going to be so, so many different uh, sponsors that want to get involved young, now work, and, and this could really be a turning like point in her career. Classification, the German, I'm sure, will look to harness that. Uh, still has two more races to come as well. Plenty more to come, though. Juju Noda, uh, helmet off as she gets ready to prepare for an interview with Alfredo Filipponi. Uh, we can see him there standing by on the right-hand side as well. A big, big day. And now to the podium, and I'm sure there'll be much, uh, many scenes of great delight in amongst that of the drivers up at the sharp end as well. Juju Noda. What a proud moment uh, to take the top step of the podium and stand alongside that of Jakob Bergmeister and Bryce Aaron. And uh, certainly the team boss at Noda Racing as well. They fought for a lot this season. And very shortly we'll have the national anthem. Well, there we have it, Juju Noda celebrating a well-deserved race win, also taking the rookie race win as well. So not only will she make claim to the first overall trophy, but also the rookie trophy as well. Bryce Aaron will celebrate P3 as well off the back of a stellar driver, recovery drive after that stall at the start. Also, Jakob Bergmeister for Motorfar takes P2 as well overall, his second of his championship campaign. Juju Noda will lift a lot. The last trophy as well, the overall race one the trophy for Juju Noda and the Noda Racing Team also lifting aloft the team's trophy prize as well. Not forgetting the winning rookie as well for Juju Noda and a photograph as well. No doubt to be shared. And what an inspiration she said he has been for us. And that image is going to do the rounds now, isn't it? Absolutely. That image is going to be the, the, yeah, the Facebook generation. Yeah, I think so. Now uh, they'll enjoy a spray of the champagne as well. 
and uh, Xu Chino is going to take full advantage of this, so that is a shadow of a doubt, but certainly Bryce Aaron the first to unlock his as well. A tremendous, tremendous, the Simonazzi joining in on the front row as well. Leon follow, following two successful collective tests, taking P1 in test one, sits in behind this pair in third place with Vladislav Ryabov in his first appearance since testing pre-season there alongside him. Juju Noda in fifth, Kian Shields in sixth as well, Jakob Bergmeister as well. Here are the highlights from the race as well. Bryce Aaron unfortunately getting stalled. Juju Noda actually did very well to avoid uh, actually going into the back of him at that point, but uh, it was all about Simonazzi at the very start going around the outside, getting a very lovely launch against that of Norleon as they went through towards turn one and turn two. Simonazzi getting that advantage, taking the lead at the very get-go, being hunted down as well by the sea of motorpark cars in behind, currently being separated by that of Juju Noda as well in that midfield, as well as they head down through towards turn one. We saw plenty of others as well, squabbling out as well. Kian Shield sent it down the inside, heading through that particular chicane. Norleon would eventually then challenge Simonazzi, heading in towards turn one. They would come together, and on the outside of turn two, then Marshall their way through Simonazzi putting up a great defence, a stout defence as they came through that particular portion of track. But then again, Sorki and Shields defending or City attacking yet again, this time a surprise manoeuvre, this time on that of Vladislav. Stream here, and it Shields has given him the inside line back. Meanwhile, Leon trying to get up on the inside for the lead of the race, and Noleon, the Mexican, the championship leader, hits the front. Yeah, Noleon getting that very, very, very decent advantage coming in towards two, and the battle for third place is still going on as well. But Simon, oh, oh no, no, goodness me! Oh, oh, big tire there heading through the first sector. Simonazzi and Noleon come in together, contact was made, they're in the barriers. And Simonazzi, there you can just see him streaking past off track there. Has he got damage? Yes! Yes, he does. Yes. He's damaged. So, my goodness me, Keen Shields now leads... No, he doesn't. Juju Noda leads the race. Juju. He's just gone right round the outside of everyone. Juju Noda leads here at Paul Ricard. Absolutely bizarre circumstances here in the... Safety car deployed. Goodness me, what a moment. And, and after that, obviously, Simonazzi was trying to come back at him, we have, we'll, have, we'll have to take a look at a replay if we get one, but Noleon... Uh, yeah, so I think Noleon is going to regret with both wheels currently off the car, but as the safety car restart got to a, a restart, certainly we got back underway, Juju Noda certainly delivered a clinic, certainly headed down in towards turn one, Jakob Bergmeister would be the one to plunge on the attack, straight away, marshalling his way into second place at the expense of Vladislav Ryapov, and it was down to Bergmeister and Juju Noda to fight for the race win. There was then a big fight then, obviously for P3, as it all lit up for the back, Bryce Aaron managing to move his way up the field, past Ryapov for that P4, as they did so earlier on before the end of this race. Noda now out by 1.6. She's advancing the cause yet again, and it looks like off the back of this, we could yet see the race end. It could be on this very lap, in fact, and indeed it is the final lap, as it's now confirmed, certainly on our timing screen, and Juju Noda is going to take us round of what can only be described as a sensational result for Noda Racing. She's got to get it to the end, but certainly at this point, surely she has to. You think so? I mean, this outfit compared to the motor park team and it's, it's got a lot of resource and Noda Racing, it's a family run team. Uh, it's extraordinary seeing her fighting up at the front of the field and in amongst these, these very well run cars uh, up and down the field. I see confirmation we will finish uh, on time. We are on the last lap and Keen Shields does have his mirrors full of Bryce Aaron there for the last spot on the podium. Juju Noda in absolute command of this race. Meanwhile, and this could well be not just historic, but inspirational uh, as well to an entire generation of young aspiring women who want to be racing drivers. Absolutely right indeed. Many of them who are watching on perhaps watching this very race will see Juju Noda now making her way through the final sector. We've also got a fight now for third place. They now come together again this time. Sidney Kian Shields coming under desperate fight here. Bryce Aaron looking to try and lodge himself higher. Gets into the podium places. P3 now for Bryce Aaron. But this is the story we all wanted to see. It was heartbreak at Hungara Ring where of course he was undone by Josh Mace after a fight between the pair. Of course no fault between the two drivers. She gave it everything. She's done exactly the same this time around as well. Noda Racing will watch on in jubilance, as will the home nation of Japan, as Juju Noda escapes the final corner. The opening race here at the Poor Ricard weekend. It's Juju Noda. She wins here at Poor Ricard. An overall race win here for Juju Noda. An inspiration to female drivers
kilometers across the globe, and it's a first race win this season for her overall as well. Just put in, and this is a tremendous result for that. Juju Noda takes the race win here and finishes 2.2 seconds. She gets ready to prepare for an interview with Alfredo Filipponi. Uh, we just see him there standing by on the right-hand side as well.